Jesus. What is that? Hello, I am Uncle Wayno, and welcome to my review of Cocaine Bear, my very first review on this channel, and I really hope you don't think it blows. See what I did there? Very loosely based on a true story, Cocaine Bear is the third feature film from director Elizabeth Banks and stars Kerry Russell, O'Shea Jackson, and Ray Liotta in his final film. Many liberties have been taken uh, with the original true story of this, since the original Cocaine Bear was just a bear that was found dead in the woods. Shortly after Thornton fell to his death with all the cocaine strapped to his body, a black bear popped up dead from an over dose on cocaine that was dropped by Thornton. The film doesn't really have a complicated plot line. It's pretty much all in the title. We're not really after a complicated plot line with a film like this, so what we're going in for is a bit of fun, basically. The story centers around Chattahoochee National Park, where a drug lord has dumped millions of dollars of cocaine from a plane that is going down, resulting in his cohorts looking for the stash with a cop on their trail and a number of other characters thrown into the mix. But as you'd imagine from the title, a bear has stumbled onto the stash first, proceeded to help himself and go on a murderous rampage. Oh man, you fucked. The film does a great job of not just being a novelty that you get bored of quickly, but keeping you entertained throughout with plenty of laughs and gore. And the laughs are what made it for me with this film. I was surprised by, by how funny I found this film. From start to finish, Cocaine Bear is filled with wacky characters, one-liners, and slapstick, with some of the biggest laughs coming from the bear itself. The humour is silly, dry, and at times subtle and unexpected. It's the type of humour that would not land if it wasn't for fantastic acting from all the cast, and they really held the film up well. You're safe. Bears can't climb trees. Of course I can! In saying all that, Banks has done a really great job of mixing comedy with horror. And although the film doesn't take itself too seriously, it also doesn't go over the top stupid and has plenty of genuine horror moments. There is plenty of gore and even a few scare moments. The CGI bear itself looks amazing and they did a really great job of making a bear on cocaine look and act real and believable, even though nobody knows what that looks like. Not only that, but there's some really great shots and sequences in the film, including a sequence in an ambulance that is clearly the highlight of the film. Overall, I really love this film. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It was a wild ride all the way through uh, and based purely on entertainment and rewatchability. I'm giving this film an eight out of 10. Yes, that's right. I'm giving a film called Cocaine Bear an 8 out of 10. It was just bloody fun. So that's it for this review. If you've seen the film, let us know in the comments what you thought of it yourself. Uh, if you enjoyed the review, please give us a sub and a like. We're a new channel. There's a few of us here. Uh, we're doing a live show every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Of course, you can always watch the replays if you can't make it. Uh, we do a movie of the week. We do a top five every week related to that movie. And we do trivia and a couple other things. And it's pretty much just a casual chat uh, to have a, a bit of a laugh with some mates. It's not serious at all. We don't deep dive into anything. Uh, it is really good fun. So please give us a sub. Come along on a Thursday if you can. That'd be great. And thanks for watching. <coughs> Mm. Mm. Not bad.